Greetings, I'm Tim of Gothberg, and welcome to the world of Officine Panerai. Today, I'll be your guide to the Panerai Luminor 1950 Regatta 3 Days Chrono Flyback Automatic, 47mm in polished and satin finished titanium. The PAM 526 pays homage to Panerai's long standing association with nautical themes, most notably its modern association with luxury yachting and the classic yachts challenge for vintage yachts in particular. Now, the watch features a Panerai bellow style or Kachuk black rubber strap with a traditional satin finished titanium Panerai pin buckle. True to history in its imagery and size, it also makes for easy adjustment on the fly during hot or cold weather activity or inactivity as wrist size may change. Now, the bellows of the natural rubber strap enable this watch to fit easily with plenty of margin for expansion and contraction, as well as channels to relieve any excess heat, moisture, or grit on the wrist during the heat of yachting competition, and the watch is designed for that purpose, having regatta-specific features to its chronograph, its dial, and its functional interface. But first, it's important to note that should you wish to change the aesthetic of the watch from this bellows-style rubber strap, the quick-change lugs on this watch enable you to rapidly and easily use Panerai strap-changing tools to change the strap, and it's important to note that using these tools, the watch is designed such that you will not risk marring the finish of the lugs or the case. Quick, easy, and painless. That's what this system enables when changing the strap. Now the watch of course is executed entirely in titanium, featuring a manufacturer caliber P9100R from Panerai's manufacturer in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. The watch features traditional column wheel function actuation for a crisp, tactile, and audible response. The winding rotor is skeletonized to enable a more complete view of the mechanism beneath, and it rolls on completely unlubricated, high-efficiency, high-tech ceramic rotor bearings. It energizes a 72-hour or 3-day power reserve, and again, true to its mission as a modern sports watch, the timepiece features a free-sprung balance such that it has greater resistance to shock and vibration-induced timing deviation. Of course, a very complex regatta-specific movement this timepiece pivots on 37 pivot jewels and encompasses 328 parts. It also features a unique zero reset function such that when you unlock the device protecting the crown and you pull the crown out to extremity, you can see how the constant seconds hand at 9 o'clock has both stopped and zeroed itself to the index at 12. Now the balance is halted and you can precisely set the watch against a known accurate reference time such as an official regatta clock or an atomic timer. Now of course there is a intermediate position for frequent travelers when you are en route to your regatta event that allows independent setting of the hour hand forward or backwards. You'll note how the chronograph seconds hand, chronograph minutes hand, local minutes hand and constant second all continue to advance while the time zone or traveler's function is engaged. It does not affect balance amplitude, nor does it affect isochronism or precision. Now, of course, when completely locked, this elaborate Panerai Luminor nevertheless maintains the classic profile of the device protecting the crown and the Panerai Luminor cushion style case. Now, this is the 1950 style case. True to history in its compound curves, it's more sensuous than previous Panerai Luminor cases and features an all subdued satin finish that contrasts nicely with the polish of the titanium bezel. Now, of course, the watch 47mm has a full figure on the wrist, but thanks to the titanium construction, it is light and wieldy. It's also important to note that the device protecting the crown is not just an article of modern industrial design culture. It's also a patented historic mechanism with a very practical application. It provides more complete protection for the crown than conventional crown guards, and with its locking lever, it's more easy to manipulate when your hands are wet, sweaty, or gloved. Very practical, simply lift it, now you can wind and set the watch without having to thread the crown out of a threaded sleeve as you would on a screw down crown. Now the regatta functions of the watch include a flyback function. So unlike conventional chronographs, a simple push of the reset trigger resets and restarts the chronograph. There's no need to stop, reset, and restart. You can quickly and easily resume timing for fast paced close interval events such as, for instance, different legs of a regatta course. Moreover, the watch features a programmable five-minute countdown timer to stop it and reset it precisely. Using the pusher, 
at 4 o'clock, you can advance the radial minutes hand back any distance between 1 and 5 minutes to specifically match the time until your start during regatta competition. Now it's also important to note that once the chronograph is in motion, the orange minutes hand will continue to keep time for the duration of a 60 minute cycle, continuing to act as a radial minutes hand for easy reading of the critical information of seconds and minutes during competition. Of course, 100 meter water resistance ensures that this nautically themed watch is just as at home below the waves as above. You can learn more about this PAM 526 and the entire Panerai family of model lines on our website, govbergwatches.com.